hello so today is going to be a um, noisy video because of that let's go On the 25 Debril bridge, you can constantly hear this sound, which corresponds to the vibration of the steel cables and the passing of cars over the grate in the left lanes. Lot of mud. I could bring the jeep here, but I don't want to. I prefer to went on foot. kind of cold here Since the last decades of the 19th century, the idea was to build a bridge over the Tagus River in front of Lisbon in order to improve connections between the city and the South Bank, which at that time were done by boat, causing inconvenience to passengers due to transshipment operations. The first major proposal was made in 1876 by engineer Miguel Paes and was the one that attracted the most attention for around six decades as it was the most suitable from a railroad point of view. In 1913, the Portuguese government received a suggestion to build a bridge reviving the idea of connecting the area of Rocha Conde, the Obige and Almada. Okay, going down is easy. The return is <laughs> it's always climbing.
two roads, this and this. Which one I will take? Maybe this one. We'll see. At the beginning of the 1950s, one of the defenders of the construction of the bridge over the Tagus in front of Lisbon was Deputy Pinho Brandão, who in the session of October 28, 1952 of the National Assembly suggested that that work be awarded as part of the celebrations of the 25 years of Oliveira Salazar's government. The works began on November 5, 1962 and at that time it was scheduled to be completed on February 5, 1967. However, the bridge was inaugurated around six months before this deadline. On August 6, 1966, on the of Almada, in the presence of the highest Portuguese figures, among whom stood out the President of the Republic, Admiral Américo de Deus Rodrigues Tomás, the President of the Council of Ministers, Antonio de Oliveira Salazar and the Cardinal Patriarch of Lisbon, Dom Manuel Gonçalves Serjeira, receiving the name Ponte Salazar or Salazar Bridge. We're almost there. The tide is high, unfortunately. Very slippery. or not, I didn't went here since the 1980s, I was at school.
lot of noise. dangerous because the rocks are slippery if it is the right word oh. but and the water is rising or something like that so I have to be careful With the inauguration of the bridge, access between Lisbon and the south bank of the Tagus was improved, allowing urban development in that area. Its cost at the time of its construction was around 2 million and 200,000 contos, which corresponds, without adjustments for inflation, to close to 11 million euros. Also designed to simultaneously support rail and road traffic, at this stage it was only prepared for the passage of road vehicles. The 25 de Abril bridge requires permanent maintenance. 
is still colossus has been inspected by es key for 50 years after the revolution of april 25 1974 the salazar bridge kept its name for more than five months it was changed to pont 25 de abril following the failed putsch of september 28 on the initiative of colonel joan varela gomes who after the attempt was appointed improvisedly to preside over the first free celebrations of the Republican Revolution of the October 5, 1910. On July 24, 1990, the fifth road of the 25 de Abril Bridge entered service. Subsequently, consideration was given to installing the railway on the 25 de Abril Bridge as part of the so-called energy plans and in the mid-1990s the government considered that this work could not longer be postponed. In January 2003, the section between Coina and Pinal Novo was previously opened. Thus, establishing the connection between the north and south banks of the Tagus by rail via the 25 de Abril Bridge. The 25 de Abril Bridge is a road and rail suspension bridge over the Tagus River that connects the city of Lisbon, north bank, to the city of Almada, south bank, in Portugal. The bridge crosses the Tagus estuary in the final and narrowest part, the so called Tagus bottleneck. The bridge is 2,277 meters long. With a free span of 1,013 meters, the 25 de Abril Bridge is the 33rd largest suspension bridge in the world. The upper deck houses six road lanes, three per direction, while the lower deck houses two railway lines electrified at 25 kV AC. Projects for the construction of a bridge over the Tagus estuary have existed since the end of the 19th century. However, it was only in the 1950s that the Portuguese Estado Novo government moved forward with the construction of a bridge to connect the two banks of the Lisbon metropolitan area. So it's time to return from here <laughs> is not isn't it good if we can talk without this noise let's do it okay now I'm talking normally without the background noise much better this way okay let's return to normal <laughs> what of noise and the sounds of these cars passing there could be heard far far away from here anyway let's go
to climb this without falling. <laughs> kind of a hurt stuff. Construction began in November 1962 and lasted four years. At least 20 workers lost their lives, much more than announced at the time. It was opened on August 6, 1966, then with just a road deck. On July 29, 1999, the railway deck was inaugurated. The 25 Debril Bridge was concessioned to the private company Luzo Pont in 1996, which was also tasked with building the Vasco da Gama Bridge. The concession for these two bridges ends in March 2030. Until 1974, the 25 Debril Bridge was called Salazar Bridge. The name April 25th alludes to the revolution of April 25th, Since the beginning of its operation, road traffic has been intense, resulting in daily car congestion. The figures for the beginning of 2006 are enlightening 7,000 cars pass through the Pont Vincent de Bril in both directions during rush hour, and 150,000 on average per day, which corresponds to more than 300,000 daily users. Railway circulation is also intense, corresponding to the passage of 157 trains daily in both directions, transporting around 80,000 passengers per day. In 2007 alone, 22 million users were transported by rail. The grandeur and grandeur of the 25 de Abril Bridge is well expressed in the fact that at the time of its inauguration it was the fifth largest suspension bridge in the world and the largest outside the United States. 
50 years later, after its inauguration, it now occupies 20th place worldwide. Every year in mid-March, the bridge is closed to traffic for a few hours for the Lisbon Half Marathon. Almost there or no? Not yet. The climbing, of course, it's worst, but it's a good exercise. I'm all wet. you there Not over yet. <sighs> I can see the end there. <sighs> Finally. <clears throat> okay, it's finished. I hope you have enjoyed this little video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Maybe the next will be in this direction. We never know. Bye. <laughs>